What's happened? The hyperdrive worked. One time. Omni Cannon's fried too. What a mess. We're safely away from the fleet, if nothing else. Should be able to make it to Asylum, but let's not hold our breath. What is this Asylum place, and why are we going there? Asylum is a skyport. A safe haven from Arkin's patrols. Was she really necessary? She helped us raise the gravestone. She fought at our side. She also hunted me like an animal for years. She was Arkin's loyal knight. I thought I was in service to Zakul. You had abandoned your responsibilities. It sounds like you're both on the same side now. Whatever history you have, it's best to let it go. You don't know what she's capable of. You weren't there. Do they know what you're capable of, Vortena? If anybody needs me, I'll be somewhere. You could have at least consulted with me first. Yes, I wonder how that might have gone. Absolutely! I'd be glad to fix the gravestone by myself. Why can't there be a maintenance manual? Hey, can you get the power? Right over there. Thanks. Wouldn't want to electrocute myself on top of everything else. She's really something, this ship. But no one's been taking care of her. You've grown attached rather quickly. No offense, but it's the gravestone that will save the galaxy from Arkham. Not you, not me, definitely not Senya. What did Senya do to earn this grudge? She was ruthless. After we deserted, she hunted us for months. Everyone on my crew bled more than once on account of her. I put all my trust in Lana and she goes to Senya for help. She does not know what she's getting us into. Senya acts according to... I don't know what. Her own narrow concept of justice, maybe. Even if her objectives align with yours, it doesn't mean she'll do what you need to get done. Believe me, just don't forget who dropped everything to storm the spire and help Lana pull you out of Carbonite. Alright? I'd be a frozen carcass if you hadn't. I have a good feeling, you know. We'll get Arkin. I should get back to it. Need to be sure the gravestone can get us all the way to Asylum. Hey, I know Lana doesn't seem to be in the talking mood, but maybe check in on her. Your display of power. It concerns me. Deeply. I hope you've considered that its use must come at a cost. A very personal cost. I'll be careful. You're hardly putting me at ease. Valkorin may prove to be of some use, but he's no less dangerous than when he was alive. That's why we need all the help we can get, and Senya will be a great help. I hope you can see that. You could have let me know we had backup on the way. I wanted you to encounter her without my guidance, to see if you saw her as I did. We met shortly after I arrived in Wild Space. Senya was hunting Koth. I was hoping to learn your fate. We exchanged what information we could. This was all before I really knew Koth, of course. Years ago. You were looking for me all that time. Is it really any surprise? Uh. I was looking for a... Hyperdrive Matrix Processor Assembly. You probably haven't seen one in here. I'll keep looking. I should continue my meditation. And you should get to know Senya. I'm not sure if you'll hit it off exactly, but I think you'll find her intriguing. Query. Has the meatbag bickering finally exhausted itself? Were you eavesdropping? Correction, I was monitoring activity in order to ensure everyone's safety, Master. Report, I have taken the liberty of checking in on your band of refugees. Assessment, they have quickly taken to their new lodging arrangements. I have warned them not to stray from their chosen location. Analysis, 
There are many sealed passageways, and I am unable to detect what may be on the other side. Worth looking into at some point. Revelation. I discovered an especially strange area. Unlike anywhere else on the gravestone, I had attempted to ascertain if any of its contents could be weaponized, but the new meat bag interrupted. Query. Any orders, Master? As you were, HK. Approval. I like your orders. <laughs> I know. I couldn't help but take this place in either. Reminds me of a song I wrote. I wouldn't have pegged you for a songwriter. You know I get that a lot. Probably because most people meet me when I'm terse and angry. You seem nothing at all like the person I met in the swamp. Being a knight means everything. But I don't let it define me. When it's time to go to work, I'm who I need to be. The rest of the time, I'm just myself. You don't strike me as all that different. What do you mean? I get the feeling you aren't entirely yourself when matters call for it. I think that's true of a lot of people. I like to think it's even true of Arkin. I know why I oppose him. What's your reason? Years after the death of our immortal Emperor, most are still so afflicted with remorse that they don't see what's happening. Arkin has become oppressive and cruel. He'll crush anyone who doesn't share his plan for the galaxy. So that's me. What about you? Arkin wants to lay waste to everything I've fought for and accomplished. I won't let him. Neither will I. I may not know much of the worlds you've inhabited, but I do know what he's doing to them. You're not what I expected. Not sure if that's good or bad yet. But I do know I'll have an easier time with you than Koth. I hope you'll try to get along. The more we work together, the better off we'll be. Just because he betrayed our enemy doesn't change the fact that he was a traitor. You need to be cautious. Valkorion lives. He is not himself, nor has he taken a new body. It is difficult to see. And yet it is unmistakable. His presence in the Force has always been deceptive. Like on the Yavin moon. Yes. And many times before and since. Even when my life depended on it, I did not see him properly until it was too late. 